Hello everyone, back tuning in to the first update for the late spring bank holiday weekend. So another weekend uh, is looming, another long weekend. It's uh, within the GFS time frame uh, now, two weeks away, uh, and then we'll be at the late spring bank holiday weekend. So uh, we're going to uh, do several updates, of course, over the next couple of weeks, as we uh, initially just looked for the trend of the model for the first week, and then the second week we will ping down the detail of the uh, bank holiday weekend, whether it's good or bad remains to be seen, of course. So we're going to start off uh, on Friday the 26th of May, when uh, many people are going to be uh, on their getaway, of course. Everything will be breaking up and uh, people will be heading off to the coast. So uh, remember, this is just our first snapshot, and we'll need to do subsequent updates to see whether... Uh, busy for trend or whether the scenario changes. But for tonight's first update, we begin on Friday the 26th of May with uh, low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. So quite clearly, this looks like an unsettled update because you can see that there's not really any high pressure at all. Everything looks like it's coming in from off the Atlantic. Upper air temperatures are relatively cool for the end of May. There's a huge mass of rain at midday on Friday 26th of May, sitting to the west of the country, that is only going in one direction, and that's eastwards across the country. And if you have a look at the temperatures, they're pretty cool as well, uh, ranging from around 10 to 15 degrees, so uh, certainly quite chilly for uh, the getaway on Friday 26th of May. Into the bank holiday weekend itself, this is Saturday 27th, and look at that. Doesn't get much worse, really. We've got a big trough of low, uh, low pressure, area of low pressure, parking itself right over the top of the country. So, obviously, it does look very unsettled. The only saving grace, I suppose, is that uh, the isobars aren't particularly tight. They're spaced out, so winds are light. Uh, upper air temperatures, uh, they're looking quite cool for the end of May, and there's loads of rain across the country as well. Maybe you can't really... Uh, pinpoint the exact detail down. For example, this is producing lots of heavy rain for Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. But of course, it's far too far away. It's two weeks away. So that could be anywhere really perhaps to a persistent area of rain. We're just really using this for the trend at the moment. And it does look very unsettled uh, tonight, quite obviously. Temperatures, they're very disappointing. Just 10 to 15 degrees. Uh, Sunday 28th of May finds that uh, low pressure still across the country is a shallow trough. We've lost that area of low pressure that's bringing the persistent rain. Um, got a shallow trough sitting over the country at that point. Our air temperature is still looking cool. And now we're going to a sort of a shower scenario. So that's kind of sunshine and uh, showers for Sunday the 28th of May. Temperatures, because there's a little bit more sunshine and lifted up a little bit, but uh, even so, we're only talking about 16 or 17 degrees. Not much better than average. And then we go through to back on Monday itself, which is Monday the 29th of May, where a new area of low pressure is beginning to move in from off the Atlantic. That looks quite Ominous upper air temperatures rounding it all off uh, for what is a cool bank holiday weekend. Still looking pretty cool. Outbreaks of heavy rain uh, sitting to the west again. That's only going in one direction, which would be uh, eastwards across the country. Temperatures are a little bit better, up to around 18 degrees in the southeast. But uh, still, that's nothing to write home about uh, for the end of May. So, obviously, it's a very unsettled update to start us off. Perhaps it can only get better from here. We'll see what Update 2 has to say, which we'll be doing... Uh, I think we'll do that on Monday. So we'll see what second update has to say. If it follows this scenario, which is very unsettled, then of course we'll have a trend. But um, it might show something completely different. And uh, if it doesn't, we won't have a trend. And we'll have to wait longer to see what's happening. But that's all now. We did weekend forecast earlier on today. So uh, check that out. Videos on the home page. There's also written posts. You get that via buttons at the top of the page. Uh, that's all for now. Come back Monday for the second update for the late spring. Back Holly weekend. And that's all now. Thanks for watching.